Yeah, so I, at Ana Flores, think I was born in Houston, Texas, and I do start there because that defines really what I do now. Um, mm -hmm. I was born in Houston, Texas by parents from El Salvador, and they got divorced mm -hmm. when I was six years old, and my mom made the best decision, I believe, in my life to move back to El Salvador. So those my formative years up till when I was 18 were, were in El Salvador, but I was, um, since my dad still lived, lived in Texas, I would go back and forth. Um, you know, summers, my sister and I, summers and things like that in, in Texas and in El Salvador. So I mentioned that because it really um, created this unique upbringing where I am completely bilingual, completely bicultural. Mm -hmm. I don't have an accent in either one of the languages. So I am able to kind of morph into these two worlds where I can mm -hmm. be at home in Latin America and I can be at home in the United States and I can be at home in the mix of both, you know, in this new Latino community, mm -hmm. um, uh, Hispanic community in the U.S., um, so really understanding the idiosyncrasies of both. So that led to, I, I did TV production for 15 years, but always in the Latino industry with major media companies as MT Latin America, Univision, um, Telemundo, et cetera. And then um, when I became a mom, I, it, you know, I, I was hit with a recession soon after um, we became parents um, living in LA in 2008, and I had quit my job to be a stay-at-home mom. And that fairy tale clearly really quickly vanished, and I needed to figure out what to do. But really, at that same time, I discovered the world of mom blogs. And it was these fabulous women with fabulous careers or, you know, that had now decided to, to live in the world of digital content creation. And at that point, blogs, you know, 2008, 2009, blogs were really what were prolifer proliferating into, into moms um, mm -hmm. that, you know, were kind of in the same position as me that had, were professional, needed something to do, et cetera. So, I found I was navigating um, a lot of mom blogs to find my community to figure out how to be a mom, but I wasn't finding Latina mom blogs. Mm -hmm. So that's when I, you know, and, and moms that were talking, you know, that, 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 I, that represented my situation, my family situation, mm -hmm. where I wanted to raise my daughter bilingual and um, bicultural and what all of that meant. So mm -hmm. I created it um, with, I co-created EnguishBaby.com. Um, with my best friend from college who was in the same situation, and it became the leading Latina mom blog um, online, well, blog. And from that, I realized that I didn't want to go back to TV, that I, I wanted to continue living this beautiful community um, and this uh, online space. I wanted to just continue diving into it because I felt that it was just, we, we were just getting started. So to do that, I needed to survive making money with brands, so mm -hmm. finding partnerships with brands, as you know. So... That's where um, I realized that in the, the small Latina mom blogger community at the moment, we didn't really have access to the brands or, like, networks that were partnering us up as, a, as they were in the general market, and the brands were trying to figure out how to work with us, but they, they didn't really know how to access us as well. So I created Latina Bloggers Connect in 2010, and it was the first what is now known as an influencer marketing agency, but back then it, that term didn't exist. So it's six years mm -hmm. later, and we're still an independent Latina-owned com Latina owned and run company. Mm -hmm. It's no longer just me. We have a large team of 11 women, and um, we also do last year launch We All Grow Summit, which is the go-to conference for Latinas in the digital space. 